Hey guys, we are out in the herb garden today. Um, it is a beautiful, cooled off spring day in northern Michigan, so I'm fully taking advantage of that it's not sweltering and sunny. Anything over um, 65 is getting too hot for me. I'm getting really used to being up here in northern Michigan. So today is cooler with no, um, with some overcast, so it's actually really nice to come out and work in. So we're just kind of hanging out and weeding. We did the blueberries and I'm working on the strawberries over here and just kind of going through and working on in the, you know, in between the herbs and stuff. The hardest part is being patient enough up here to let things grow that you can't see or maybe I didn't have marked or the marker flew away during the winter, who knows. So it's just, you know, being patient enough to see, oh, look at, oh, wait a minute, that's actually still there. This is cool. So here's some Ella campaign that I did not know was there. Ta-da! So that's a great thing to have. My echinacea is starting to pop up. I know there's some more over there. I planted some seeds of some different stuff. We'll see if they pop up. I have moved strawberries that were in the pathway, and I put them over here. They definitely are having some, um, you know, some some adjustment to get through. I've watered them. Um, so, but looks like, I mean, they're going to be okay. That's just some sun scald and some burnt, and it was just a little rough for them because it was 80 and when I transplanted them, but I needed them out of the pathway so people didn't trample on them. And so we're going to give them a shot. We've got some beautiful lemon balm. we got some hyssop. We've got our pink yarrow that'll be coming up. Our stinging nettles, which I actually, oh, it looks like something's getting, something get, it's getting a hold of them. I'll have to check to see what's going on with these guys right here. They might have had a little heat issue too. So I need to come along and trim some of those up and then so I make sure I partake in that before they uh, go to seed and they disappear. But if I keep them trimmed, they'll be here all summer long for me. I'm also doing a lot of weeding with my favorite tool. This is my favorite tool right here. It is a Wilcox All Pro. This sucker is amazing at getting out weeds. You just dig down in there. It can help me get all these dandelions. I mean, I know I just said weeds and dandelions in the same sentence. I actually really like my dandelions, but not always in my pathways and not in my strawberries. So I'm out here removing them. This is able to get down to the roots really good without disturbing other things. So I'll put a link down below because this is by far one of my favorite weeding tools right here. It's not that expensive. You can grab it on Amazon. So we have some other things going on here. Some bee balm. Strawberry. These strawberries are looking really nice. There's lots of blooms and lots of strawberries coming on, which is awesome and exciting. So we've got sometime in June, a lot of them will be uh, popped on and red and ready for us, ready for us, so that's cool. And we have some other stuff. Working on clearing up this section over here. So I just put these mats down here to um, kill any weeds that I keep missing. This was some oregano that just kind of got out of control with weeds. So I need to make sure that I just kind of clear it out and then put something new in here. Here's some of the oregano that's over here. Oh gosh, let's see what else. We have lots of fun stuff. We have different mints going on and motherwort and lavender. And that's a valerian. You can use the root medicinally. That's a lupine. So beautiful. We have some white traditional yarrow some more echinacea, some parsley that overwintered. So I need to get that trimmed up too. Oh, I love these guys right here, but it's really hard to keep with, with all these weeds keep coming through, but this is phlox. Um, I'm hoping it takes over a big area over here because this is just so pretty to see in the springtime. And let's see what else we have over here. Some licorice mint. Oh, this is some kind of ornamental flower. I forget what it's called. It's really pretty. The, this right here, that is actually apple tree that we have not taken care of. If you can tell, it's all over the ground. We actually grew it from seed from an organic apple that we got from the store. There's two of them down there. So now they actually are doing really good. So we need to kind of like take care of these, right? I probably don't want an apple tree in my herb garden because it will eventually uh, do too much shade back here. But so definitely out in the garden getting some weeding done before the major planting in the front and back gardens with all the vegetable plants going to take care of this stuff first and then we'll get started in about next week with some of the cool weather crops and then the week after will be the warm weather crops so check you guys later